Hello there and welcome back. This is Kevin Smith with First Team Real Estate here in Southern California. And uh, I'm um, honored to have a guest here, Michelle Harrington with uh, First Team. So Michelle and I are gonna go through a PowerPoint presentation here. We'll hopefully keep it short. If you have any questions or any comments, feel free to uh, you know email, text, or call us at the end. Um, but we're just gonna kind of point out what's going on um, nationally and then a little bit here of like what's going on in uh, California. So uh, economic 2019 market and forecast. So um, here we go. Let's so um, realtors have been praying for two things, um, price increases to slow down and inventory to pick up. So um, the US economy right now is our biggest strength. We have 4.2% GDP growth, 3.8% in consumption growth, our core CPI is up, our unemployment is down, the lowest it's been in 40 years, our job growth is up. So everything about the economy nationally is looking great. Right. Um, you can see that all unemployment, I'm sorry, employment is at an all time high. Unemployment is the lowest it's been in 40 years. Consumer confidence is the highest it's been in eight years, in 18 like 2005. years. And now here. Inflation still remains low. Um, our wild card is the financial markets, and we've seen a little bit of drama with the financial markets, and I know that makes a lot of people nervous when we see the fluctuations um, that way. So that's one of our wild cards. Our other wild card is the 30-year fixed rate mortgage is at 5%, and that's the first time it's been that high uh, since 2011. So the Fed has raised rates eight times since 2015, and they promised to raise them a little bit more. And then, but when you look at if it's the perspective of interest rates, you can see how high it's been and how low it is right now. But these rates right now, these little mortgage pushes will hurt affordability. We can see that um, the difference between a 5% and a 5.5% is $150 on the average mortgage. And right. then same here, you need to have another $5,000 in income to qualify when the interest rates go up like that. So the project projected home price appreciation, you can see like Zellman, uh, Freddie Mac, NAR, Fannie Mae, the Mortgage Bankers Association, they're all predicting continued appreciation. But you can see that a person the average age of 65 that's a homeowner and a renter the amount of equity and then just net worth that they have compared to the amount of net worth that a renter has. Okay, so California. Um, you can see that we're off in the amount of uh, sales that we have here in California. Um, statewide home sales off 5.5% year over year. We can see that price growth is slowing. So we're still appreciating statewide, even the state is still appreciating, but growth is slowing. Price gains starting to slow across the state. So here we can see where we were or are historically on the peak month. So Orange County, the peak month was June 2007. And um, right now we're up 8.1% 8. 8 over the peak. Our inventory is growing. That's gonna definitely put some more pressure on prices. And the shift started in January. It, we didn't really feel it till probably around the summer months. But it actually started back in January where the inventory really started growing. So with the weaker demand, where did all the buyers go? Listings are taking longer to sell. As you can see, days on market is up. And more listings with price reductions. Um, affordability, we talked about this, the big problem. When you, when you look at first-time home buyers compared to repeat buyers, you can see affordability is a huge issue for them. So our share of international buyers have dropped a lot. That's one one part of where our buyers went. Sellers still are not moving. So we're not seeing sellers move like we had in the past where it was they moved every five to six years. Yeah. Now we're up to 11.5 years before a seller decides to move. So given a choice between spending a fixed amount of money on a down payment for a new home or fixing up their current home, most Americans chose renovation. So when you talk about sellers moving out, yeah. that's where they're going. 29% of sellers are moving out of California. And you can see right here, 750,000 people have left since 2010. Um, pricing is keeping our residents out of state. Again, here you can see Texas, Arizona, Kern County, Georgia, Utah, North Carolina. Um, this is where people in the Inland Empire are moving out. Yeah. So our forecast, the economy looks amazing. Our GDP, our unemployment, our CPI, we look really good. Even our 30-year fixed mortgage looks really good when you look at it historically. 
the California housing um, economic outlook looks good as well. Our, our unemployment is low. Our population is growing. So um, our housing outlook is still very positive. We think 2019 is going to be a good year. We think that the percentage of um, number of sales will be lower than it was last year, but our price will be higher than what it was last year. Yeah. And we predict that a 30 year fixed mortgage will go up to 5.2%. And this is Cal this is um, the California Association of Realtors predicting, by the way, not me. I'm not going to be on the hook for that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um, so that's it. That's our yeah. housing outlook for 2019. Well, um, if you, again, if you have any questions or feel free to yeah, reach out to us and uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you very much, Michelle. We appreciate it. Thank you. Kevin. And uh, you guys have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.